Hello everyone, Pastor Mike here, and it's an honor to be able to share this devotion with you today. First off, I want to say that I truly miss all of you and miss coming together as a Parkwood family in our building. And I'm so looking forward to the day when we can do that again. It's going to be awesome, even though that's going to be different and different from what we're used to. As you've seen in the previous weeks, we are going through the Beatitudes found in Matthew chapter 5. Today's verse is Matthew chapter 5, verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. I'm sure that you've noticed that each beatitude starts with the word blessed. Can I just remind you today that even in the middle of a pandemic, I hope you, that you realize how blessed you really are. We are so blessed here in Canada. Our verse states, blessed are the pure in heart. I want to spend a moment and talk about this word pure. What is pure? What does it mean when something is pure? The Greek word here in scripture is kathros. It is translated pure, clean, clear, innocent. The dictionary uses many of the same terms, but I really like the dictionary term uncontaminated. We buy products and some labels say 100% pure. One of these products that we buy here at the Kanji's is orange juice. And the orange juice that we have right now says always 100% pure. It's always 100% pure. Sounds great, right? Well, that's why I bought it. (laughs) Some labels say 100% orange juice from concentrate. Other labels say 100% juice. What does 100% juice mean? The label 100% juice means that everything in the bottle came from the fruit or the vegetable but not necessarily the fruit or vegetable that you think that you're drinking. So what could a pure heart mean then? I would define a pure heart as the real deal, not contaminated, wholly surrendered to God. I like the Message Bible translation of this verse. It says, you're blessed when you get in your inside world, your mind and your heart put right. Then you can see God in the outside world. I love that. (laughs) I discussed this verse with my family yesterday, and my wife Vlasta shared an important point. Purity takes commitment. A pure heart is not going to want to lie or to steal. A pure heart is not going to allow it to be contaminated by garbage. The heart must be kept pure from fleshly lusts. The happiness of seeing God is promised to those and those only who are pure in heart. 2 Corinthians 7.1 Since we have these promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from every defilement of the body and spirit, bringing holiness to completion in the fear of God. So how do we get this pure heart? First, we need to be born again by the Spirit of God simply by acknowledging we are sinners and we need a savior. Asking Jesus into our hearts and he will give us a new heart and a new desires. Ezekiel 36, 26 says, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Many of you that have experienced surrendering your lives to Jesus, remember what happened when you truly surrendered your life and your hearts. And God gave us new desires. It's like I had an appetite for the worldly stuff and sin. But when I asked Jesus into my life, that plate that I had an appetite for uh, was flipped upside down. And God gave me an appetite for his things, godly things. Then those of us that have made this greatest decision on the planet... Then comes keeping your heart pure. If you heard last Sunday's message by Pastor Danny, hundreds of voices are calling out to us even in this pandemic isolation season. Let's turn off the negative voices that want our attention and listen to the still small voice that is calling us to get right with God today. Stop feeding your mind and your heart with garbage. In Revelation 3, Uh, the letter to the church of Sardis, God says, yet you have a few people who have not soiled their clothes. They have not defiled their lives. 
They will walk with me dressed in white, for they are worthy. Let's keep a pure life before God. Let's pray together. So, Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord, that you are with us no matter what. In a pandemic or not, in good times and bad, you are with us. And we thank you for that, Lord. And Lord, I just pray that you would help all of us surrender wholly again to you today. Lord, search our hearts, cleanse our hearts. Lord, we want to have a pure heart before you. And we trust you in everything. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Well, everybody have a wonderful day. God bless you. See you soon.